Gwen has reached the end of season 17 in her reaction videos. She just uploaded her reaction to the third installment of the one-on-one -on -one tell alls. And I have to tell you, I think she had some of her hottest takes yet on Robin. She also had a hot take on her sister McKelty, which I will touch on briefly as well. One of the things that I am really appreciating about watching the different takes that the Brown family kids have in these videos that they're putting out on their social media platforms is whether you agree with them or not, this is their own lived experience. It really gives us a unique perspective that isn't edited to fit a narrative or highly produced. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into today's topic, I wanted to let you guys hear from today's video sponsor. I am so excited to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly fragrance subscription that is reimagining how people discover, shop for, and even experience fragrance. Scentbird lets you choose three new fragrances every month for just $17. They come in these really cool, really cute, travel-friendly bottles. This month, I received East 12th by Ash by Ashley Benson. I received Zest for Life by Kenzie. And my personal favorite, Violet Gem by Catherine Malandrino. Violet Gem is so so yummy. It's an intoxication whirl into sweet notes of jasmine, violet, and coconut milk. Worldly notes of vanilla, exotic sun-kissed passion fruit, and sandalwood create a symphony like no other. With each sample, you receive a 30-day supply, which is really awesome because you receive plenty of fragrance without having to commit to a full-size bottle. You can discover fragrances tailored to you by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird's website. They base your results on your preferences, previous purchases, and quiz answers, so you'll be sure to find a fragrance that you love. Scentbird carries designer brands like Gucci, Prada, and Versace, and they also carry a bunch of indie brands. If you are interested in trying Scentbird, use my code Reality Squad for 55 percent off your first month that brings your first month's subscription to just over seven dollars what a steal again use my code reality squad for 55 percent off your first month at scentbird.com thank you scentbird for letting me discover yummy new fragrances without breaking the bank and for sponsoring today's video so like i said in my intro in the last couple uploads that Gwen has done, her two most recent uploads have covered part two and part three of the season 17 one-on-one -on -one tell alls. And she has given us some really hot takes on Robin that I want to dive into in today's video. But first, I wanted to touch on something that she said about her sister McKelty that I also thought was a hot take. Because a lot of like the reason that we're, we're all separated because we just, we don't talk. We don't talk to each other. We don't express when, when there's a fault. And honestly, that's something McKelty like randomly is really good at. Like if there's an issue, should we like, there's an issue. And I think she's one of the very few people in our family that doesn't just bubble it up and hold it back. And I think that's something that we could all learn to do. Well, Gwen is talking about how the family in general has a tendency to kind of skirt around issues, not really address anything head on. People tend to let things fester and bottle up. She highlights McKelty as being one of the only members of the family that doesn't do this. If there is an issue, McKelty will say, hey, there's an issue. We actually saw this in action when McKelty gathered all of the members of the family that were living in Flagstaff to say goodbye to Christine. I'm also guessing that this personality trait of hers is part of the reason why she is able to maintain a relationship with her dad and Robin. Even when all of her other siblings and like literally all of her other siblings are estranged from their dad. 
McKelty has been able to maintain a semblance of a relationship. She doesn't seem to take the fact that in order to maintain a relationship with her dad, she has to do all the heavy lifting as a slight. It just is what it is for her. If she wants to talk to her dad, she knows that she has to be the one to reach out first. Heck, she might even call him on her birthday to remind him. Who knows? And I guess there's something to be said for that. She does have somewhat of a relationship with him. And Cody and Robin actually have been out to visit her and her twins. I've noticed that in her reaction to the second part of the one-on-one -on -one tell all and now her most recent upload with reacting to the third installment, Gwen has shared a couple times some concerns she sees indicating that maybe there it isn't all marital bliss over at Robin and Cody's. I've always said, I've said it many, many times on this channel, that I've never thought that Robin's intention was to be the last wife standing. I think she always wanted to be the favorite wife, and you can't be the favorite wife if you are the only wife. And I think in general, this is a sentiment that is shared by most viewers. I think Gwen is voicing concerns that I have had with watching season 17. And that is, is Cody and Robin's marriage strong enough to weather the shit storm that is all of his original wives leaving him? Cody has been described in the past as being difficult and hard to live with by all of his wives, including Robin. Actually, in earlier seasons, when describing some of the perks of polygamy, Many of his wives described Cody not being around 24-7 as being one of the perks. And in season 17, Robin was actually complaining that the status of Cody's other marriages was actually taking a toll on their relationship. There are moments in the second and third installments of these one-on-one -on -one tell alls where Gwen calls out some concerning statements. It's during the third installment of the tell-all that Robin describes her approach to her marriage with Cody as treating him like her best customer. That statement certainly caused me to do a double take. I was like, did I actually hear that correctly? Because at this point, like the more that I watch the show, the more I'm like, is Robin gonna stay with him? This is the second time in one of Gwen's reaction videos where she speculates if Robin and Cody's marriage is built to last. But watch this super hot take that Gwen has about Cody's and Robin's marriage. I really think that she is on to something here. He's all, he, at one point he also said, I value respect more than I value love, which hurt my feelings a little bit. It feels like a very heartless thing to say. Also at one point, Robin was talking about how all of the other wives had something with my dad that she didn't have. And she was like, I, I don't know if she said she felt like jealous or that she wanted that. But like, I, I get that. And I get that she wants this like friendship with him. But it makes me think like, if he can't have this best friend relationship that he had, like with my mom, for example, with Robin, in his mind, does he see romance and friendship as something completely separate like you know like is it is it like you have this lover or you have this friend and if they combine then either you are no longer attracted to them because you see them as like an equal and then with the friendship if you start to see them romantically you're like they're lesser than me and they respect me and i am the patriarch you know Maybe that's the way he's starting to view it, which is whack for sure. During her interview with Suki, Robin defended her relationship with Cody by actually calling out that there are aspects of Cody's relationships with his other wives that she does not have with Cody. And Gwen is speculating, could one of those aspects be friendship? Gwen says that at one point, her mom and Cody were besties and that seemed to sustain their marriage for a while. It is very clear that Janelle and Cody shared a deep friendship as well. It's also very obvious to me watching the show that Cody has a level of respect for Janelle that I don't see in his relationships with his other wives. In a lot of marriages, I dare say probably most marriages, people consider their spouse to also be their friend. Are Cody and Robin even friends? 
Is friendship even possible when the whole basis of your relationship is on one person being subservient and loyal to the other? Is it possible for you to see that person as an equal? Romance and attraction is obviously an important component to any intimate relationship, but if that fades and you don't have a friendship, what do you have? In my opinion, it could be entirely possible for Janelle and Cody to grow old together if Cody was ever able to patch up his relationship with Janelle's kid. I'm just not sure that Cody respects Robin all that much. I think he appreciates her loyalty, but I don't think he actually respects her. In my opinion, the concessions that he has made for her at the expense of his other marriages have been driven by lust. She is the wife that he wanted to have the intimate marriage with. Cody very clearly considers himself to be king of the castle at Robin's house, which is why he prefers to spend the majority of his time there. He's worshipped when he is at her house. Cody does not view the people that live at Robin's house as his equals. They are his subjects. He has described Robin's kids as prisoners. And he has described Robin as being fundamentally loyal to him. But everybody has their breaking point. I speculate if Cody is super miserable to live with and finances start taking their toll, which that can be a huge stress on any relationship. How long can Robin possibly make things work? Because we all know Cody does not make things work. Just like with McKelty, it's up to Robin to do all the heavy lifting. All of Cody's original three marriages have fallen apart when the wives have decided that they've had enough. Robin is by no means immune from this. And Gwen is starting to sense some discontent in this once solid marriage. Also keep in mind that during season 17, when Robin was whining that the other wives ruined what she wanted, she had to make it known at that same time that she had other options. She chose this, she chose Cody, she chose this family because this is what she wanted. The cynical part of me, of course, speculate that the Brown family and Cody being a polygamous family that was being scouted for a TV show sure helped when Robin was, of course, chasing financial stability. All of the other wives have still signed on to film for the show, even though they are no longer with Cody. It doesn't appear that a marriage to Cody is a necessity to remain on the show and secure a paycheck. It seems to me that Cody and Robin, who many of us have perceived as having the strongest marriage, it looks like it has been built on the weakest foundation. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts on Gwen's hot takes in these last couple uploads that she's done. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.